What's happening, everybody? J Shock last here, and man, uh, we've got some announcements today from Lego Dimensions Wave Eight, and uh, it is going to include. Booyah! We got Excalibur Batman and his Bionic Steed. Uh, that'll be in celebration of the Lego Movie, which, by the way, Booyah gets a. Play the complete movie story pack, forty nine ninety nine. Uh, this one comes with the Bat Tank, Bat Girl, and uh, Robin, the new Robin from the the Lego Movie. And uh, last but not least, uh, we also have as part of Wave Eight, Knight Rider, boom with uh, Michael Knight and Kit, uh, looking pretty sweet. Uh, they are. Definitely an 80s classic, and uh, definitely one that I'm kind of looking forward to. Was never really a big Knight, Knight Rider fan when I was younger. Uh, I definitely watched it my fair share, but uh, it was not something that was uh, stuff I had to watch. But uh, looking forward to playing the Adventure World, and looking forward to uh, to doing all those Knight Rider kind of things. Uh, but let's talk about uh, a couple things here. So first of all, let's talk about uh, Batman. So obviously we're about to have a second Batman figure, or for some people, a third Batman figure, uh, because they're going to be rebuying the story pack so that they can, uh, or the uh, starter pack, so they can get Supergirl, if they have PlayStation 4 anyway. Um, but this is going to come with his Bionic Steed. Uh, the Bionic Steed does transform, and it will turn into turns into I had it here. Um, wow! Don't you love it when you can't find something that was literally right in front of your face? Um, Ultra Bat and Pat Raptor. Man, I have this. I have notes. Um, so it turns into the Bat Raptor and the Ultra Bat. So you know, there you go. You've got some extra usage out of your your vehicles should you choose and then you have another version of Batman to play um, I'll tell you how I feel about that I feel it's okay you know um, it's not um, it's not like a necessity to me to have another Batman character I would have I understand that you know hey you're gonna have the Batman movie you're gonna want to do stuff with Batman but I don't know, I guess I kind of would have rather had an extra character uh, that isn't already in the game. I'm okay with this. I would have much rather been able to hold down Y and summoned up a, another version of Batman, kind of like you could do with the Ghostbusters. Um, now here's what rubs me a little bit the wrong way. Uh, releasing first in North America at Target. Um, hmm. Okay. I'm going to get back to that in just a moment. Uh, I also, I don't know if I mentioned this about Knight Rider, which we already kind of looked at and I'm ready to move on from. Knight Rider, releasing first in North America at GameStop. Huh. Okay. So, elephant in the room, uh, I really don't understand why TT Games has to keep going this exclusive route. Like, are they hurting for money that badly that they need to keep doing these exclusives. Um, I mean, I understand they're timed exclusives, so GameStop and Target are only going to have these for a short period of time. I don't know how long that period of time is. Uh, these come out February 10th, so it may only be for a month, it may be for two months, maybe for three months. Uh, I would imagine they're probably going to have it exclusively until, you know, May or so. But you're basically leaving the rest of the world out, contrary to what people think. Uh, we Americans do not believe the entire world revolves around us. I understand that we are a huge portion of the uh, you know popula world population that takes in entertainment and media and whatnot. And, but I mean, <laughs> TT Games is based in Europe. I know WB isn't, and I know that this is probably more a WB thing than a TT thing, but man, this just doesn't seem right. Like, we've got Supergirl segregated over to the PlayStation 4, we've got 
you know, this dude right here, uh, no, this dude right here, uh, Arrow, segregated only to people that happen to go to events or want to spend lots of money on eBay. Um, now we're going to have character packs, you know, that are here in North America only for a period of time, while people in Europe, yeah, you'll get to play it eventually, but like, come on, man, that's not right. I, I hate, I hate this, and by the way, I live in North America. Uh, this doesn't impact me at all. I'll have them both day one, if anything, it helps me. I mean, you know, it's a competitive, um, you know, YouTube is very competitive in the Lego genre, and, you know, excluding, you know, the European and Asian and Australian and South American and African YouTubers out there that want to get their hands on this, uh, I don't know, like, it helps me, but it doesn't really, you know? I want people, like, uh, the first person I think of when I see this is Game Unboxing, because he's in England, and, you know, he's super enthusiastic about these things. And I know that he wants to have these, you know, as quickly as possible like anybody else. And you're be I don't know, man. Like, this just does not strike me that, as being the right way to approach this. I, I'm so tired of exclusives, like, across the board, and you know, you know I'm serious and passionate about this when I benefit from it, and it still rubs me the wrong way, you know, like, I have a PlayStation 4, all this PlayStation 4 exclusiveness does not impact me at all, but it still bothers me because there's so many other people that don't have that luxury. And, and are left out. Uh, now, I, I'm s I love Lego Dimensions, don't get me wrong. This one right here uh, is like so... I'm struggling with this because I thought... I really felt like the Lego Batman movie was probably going to be the next full-fledged TT Games video game. Because um, they don't have one announced at this point. Um, you know, Lego Star Wars was the last one they have announced, and we have no idea what the next full-blown Lego game is going to be, if there's even going to be one. Uh, which I'm sure there will be, but we just don't know. Are they just going to take everything and put it in dimensions? I don't know. Um, this story pack comes with six levels. You can play the complete movie, and it has Batgirl. And it has Robin, who can turn into Nightwing, which is awesome. I, I think that's a great feature. I like, I like the fact that there are characters that can do multiple things. I love the fact that Supergirl can turn into um, a Red Lantern. I love the fact that all the Ghostbusters come together. Even though I'd love to play as all four Ghostbusters at once for either movie, but in order to do that, you got to buy extra pieces. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I really feel about this because let's talk about our expectations for what you're going to get for your money. This story pack is 50 bucks, okay? And if you throw in the Batman Excalibur, uh, $65, because I'm assuming Excalibur Batman is something that we are going to experience as part of the Lego movie. I don't know for sure, but I think it's a pretty safe expectation. Um, you know, the Bat Lego Batman movie has to probably, you know, fill a lot of time traveling and whatnot, um, and, and stuff like that. So, um, I'm assuming that's the connection, um, because if you look at, uh, this, it does say the Lego Batman movie right there. So, for $65, uh, you are effectively getting six levels, an adventure world, a useless battle arena, unless you have friends that actually come over to your house and play Lego Dimensions with you, or you like the idea of simply battling AI, uh, you get a couple toys. Uh, I mean, I, I will say this, out of all the, um, out of all the little pieces that you can add to the top of your, um, your toy pad, the this Batman one is definitely my favorite and definitely the one I will use. But I mean, the value just is not there. You get three, maybe four playable characters if you consider Nightwing a playable character that's any different from Robin, which uh, sort of, they share a piece. But um, 
and, and two vehicles that can turn into three others. So, like, for that, and then you look at Lego Batman 3, and in Lego Batman 3, you get, like, 250 characters, all the DLC, like, which brings you up to, like, 15 to 20 levels. You get, like, what, seven or eight hub worlds uh, full of different things that you can do. And uh, just the value, man, the value... The value for seventy dollars if you get the season pass, versus sixty-five for the f story pack, and the one uh, I I'm assuming fifteen dollars for the uh, for the f Excalibur pack. Arnett. It might not be fifteen dollars. It might actually be ten dollars. I don't know. Between ten and fifteen. So like the value to me, it it's just not there. Like it's and, and don't get me wrong, everything that TT Games does is amazing. I love their games. I, I'm just speaking as an advocate for consumers, you know? Like, my expectations are, maybe they're high, but I don't think they are. Um, and I just kind of feel like, I don't know, like, the toy to life game model is generally failing now. I mean, it was a cool trend for a while, and at least the Legos come with minifigures, you know? Like, Legos are such a huge toy in and of their own. I think they're the ones that are built to last. But I just don't understand the need for all this exclusivity stuff. I don't just... It doesn't seem fair. It, it, it's really unfortunate that that's the direction that they're going with some of this stuff. And I just want to see better value. I, I mean... I guess value is in the, the wallet of the beholder, so... I mean, I'm still buying the stuff. I mean, I love the game. I can't wait to add more to it. You know, we're like, what, a week a week away from uh, Wave 6, I believe it is? And I've got all of it pre-ordered and ready to, to come to me. So, I just... Uh, I wish I was more excited about this. I really do. Um, I, well, I am. I am excited about it. I just don't think it's right. I, I really feel like just why you gotta mess around like this, release it for everybody. Like I think you're only hurting yourself, you know? Like release it for everybody. Uh, or or have your, like if you wanna have exclusive stores they're sold at, fine. Like it's not like this isn't a practice that's done by other companies, but like I just don't think it's good. I, I complained about it with Disney Infinity and where have they gone? not their fault um but like you know find some Arnish. stores in the uk and in asia the and you know australia and wherever you know let them exclusively release them there at the same time uh on february 10th 2017 you know uh, don't don't hold it off that's that's just not right man uh, i'd love to know what you guys think it's i know i have a lot of fans underneath. that are in europe but what I do um, that defines me. You guys know me. I, I I root for you. You know, it's not it's not about what's convenient for me. Like in a perfect world, this should all be available for everybody at once. And uh, I just I don't know. Darn it. How am I gonna explain this? But to uh, in any event, I'm looking I'm forward to it all. I mean, they I do look great. Um, look, I'm sure they're gonna be a blast. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to it, too. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know what you think, and we'll see you.